Welcome back to another episode of In the Garage Kit Reviews. And in this episode, the SDKFZ 251-1 Armored Infantry Carrier Half-Track. Welcome back to another episode of Octone Brick. And today we're looking at the completed version of the SDKFZ 251-1, the Armored Infantry Personnel Carrier. So here she is, totally complete now. Uh, from the last video, it was not uh, completely finished. Didn't have decals or the coloring wasn't quite right or finished, but now it is. So this is the final look of it. So as you can see, it's got all the decals on it, the cargo storage containers on the side, Africa Corps emblem, the Balkan Kreutz, of course. And on the rear, the Balkan Kreutz, split Balkan Kreutz across the doors, uh, divisional insignia. This is for the 15th Panzer Division is the one that's on there. Of course, as you saw last time, it has the gas tank. Also has a tow hitch uh, on the back there, so you can tow some uh, artillery if you've got it. Uh, jerry can uh, there. And of course, the other side, same thing. But now you got uh, an extra helmet here for your combat boys. This is the the uh, brick arms, the tricolor, the three-color uh, helmet with the two shields on it. And uh, it's it's tricked out in the rest of it. And so storage containers on this side as well. Of course, you saw the license plate on the front there. And it also comes with, for uh, equipment loadout, you've got an NG-42, which will have the side drum on it. There actually is room with this design now that you can actually have the side drum on it. Uh, so that's going to be on there. So that's what's not on there. Um, this is the aircraft MG version from Brick Warriors. This is Brick Arms, this MG. Brick Warriors and from Brick Arms as well. Uh, we've got the Car 98s. There's two Car 98s on the inside because this is the infantry uh, carrier. And as well, oh, sh <coughs> should flip around because this is the, um, this is a rucksack. Now, it is the olive color, which is correct. So here's a picture of a real one, and not genuine from the war. That's why I got it and threw it on there as an extra. So that comes with everything that you see on this kit is what it comes with. So you get the helmet, the rucksack, the, the MGs, the Car 98s, are all the extra brick arms and brick warrior stuff. So and I got those through Brick Mania. The, the rifles, the MGs, and the helmet were through Brick Mania. And that in Brick Warriors was the rucksack. They've got some other pretty good equipment there. Um, oh, actually, no, sorry, this is Brick Forge, Brick Forge rucksack. And this is, uh, this MG is from Brick Warriors. I'm sorry, just to got that little confused. And then this jerry can here, that is from the Minifig Company. So down in Florida. And that. So other than the rolling tracks, of course, and wheels, uh, that's pretty much what you got is... Is already demonstrated that that you just push out on the the hinge and then you can pull pull the door out and then rotate it sideways. Right was kind of how the, how that went. So let's just slide her back in. There she is, buttons up real nice. So that's the complete uh, version uh, version uh, number one, the infantry carrier. Uh, I wish the only thing that they did have is the the wedge plate and then also the the sloping. Uh, brick is that uh, they had those in tan, but otherwise, in same um, these brackets now they they actually come out in tan. Uh, now I think they're still not in a lot of kits yet, so they're kind of a pricey part here. But that's something I want to definitely uh, uh, upgrade them to anyway. Is that so? Uh, another thing, just because uh, this is the House of B, of course, uh, the or one of the earlier half tracks. And one thing that they did is they're on the arm in the back here, this was actually for anti-aircraft. That's why you see this, uh, that kind of a uh, mount configuration going on, is because the, the swing arm, it was for any aircraft defense. So that was pretty much its only uh, fighting capability to fight back. And the same with the front. It didn't have a shield. It actually had the same mount that you see on the back. It was on the front as well. But... Um, they started making changes on that, and I'm not sure if that was in the Aus of A or the early Aus of B, but where they added a gun shield to the front. So, uh, otherwise, that was pretty much uh, 
it. Um, I decided to mix it up and have a combo of the two because they did have it that way at one point. There never used to be a gun shield. Now there is one, so there you have it. Anyway, this is the completed SDKFZ251-1 Armored Infantry Personnel Carrier.